is going on everybody welcome back ruben texas water fishing and well today i am going on up above adventures we're going offshore we're gonna be doing a wahoo trip and uh, i'm gonna be doing some videography for him but i'm gonna try to sneak in a little bit of fishing we're gonna troll for wahoo during the day and we're gonna jig for some tuna at night so hopefully i get on a tuna and maybe even a wahoo i mean who knows but uh yeah this is a charter trip up above adventures we are on the goddard hook it's a 55 foot luxury yacht it's a viking and i uh, can't wait to get out here out there this is my first overnight off short trip with them it is going to be about 36 well i take that back it's going to be probably when it's all supposed to be a 45 hour 48 hour trip but when it's all said and done i think we'll probably be closer to like 58 hours on the water you know when it comes to offshore fishing like this you have to go when you have a wet weather window and we do have a weather window we're also in the um wahoo tournament and uh tuna side pot so it is tournament fishing style so hopefully the guys can get on them hopefully we can get our customers on them and hopefully we can all get a turn on the reel i'm looking forward to it i can't get, i can't wait um it's probably around 4 in the morning. I'm heading to the boat. So wish us luck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. And go over to Up Above Adventures YouTube page. And you can see some of the great videos I added for them so far. Thanks.
Turn that one on. Oh. doing today this is Juan aka googly eyes googly eyes from up above adventures googly googly all right so the sun is going down and no you can't hold my we're hand. wrapping up wahoo fishing so what's what's next what's the game plan for the next leg we'll probably do one more pass at the wahoo right at sunset then after that we'll readjust everything and we'll go to tuna jigging Straight, straight, straight down? Straight, straight down, about 3,000 feet of water. Uh, 3,000 feet? Yes. Wow. We use jigs that weigh anywhere from 250 to 400 grams. And uh, open it up, let it go down. When it stops going down, something bit it, close it, start cranking. 
So, so we've been fighting them out of the back of the boat, several hundred yards back, and they're biting, and we're on a troll wall on the move. For our tuna jigging, we're going to go out to certain spots, certain different, uh, what they call floater rigs. They're very, very deep, and they're not connected directly to the seafloor, so they just have anchors holding them in place. So that's the reason our floaters are kind of moving around. Uh, we'll go out to those guys, get a bunch of black fin. Then after that, we'll start chunking some of that out. And I'm sorry for looking over. There's distractions going on. They're, they're trying to fish, and I keep looking like, oh, there's another one. What's happening? No, there's another one. No, there's not. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Fish left handed too. Color. He's 
dirty yellow. Yeah. And no gloves. Grab a hold of that thing. Hell yeah, man. Nice. But do you know what happens when you catch your fresh yellowfin tuna? What? You gotta eat his eyeball. Yep. Nah, just joking. No, it's the heart. You really gotta eat the heart. You gotta eat the heart. You gotta eat the heart. You gotta eat the heart. Alright, which one we going into?